Hey everybody in YouTube land, it's Susie. I'm off today and I just got back home from getting a pedicure with a girlfriend of mine and we had lunch. But today I just wanted to make a quick video of some light packs that help me in my daily life with low vision. I'm legally blind. I have 10% um, vision in my left eye and no, no, no percent, no vision in my right eye. So um, these are just some things that I use in my daily life that really help me. So I thought maybe it would be of interest to somebody or maybe you know of someone who has lost their vision that it might help. So let's get started. Wearing a watch and telling time is just something so basic that I think most of us take for granted. And uh, this is a talking watch that tells me what time it is, the date. It can also do military time. I think it has a countdown timer and it also has an alarm clock. And did I mention it tells me the date? But anyway, I'll let you hear what it says. Sorry, I'm the one that has to hold the camera, so just bear with me. The time is 2.58 p.m. For Friday, February 9th, 2018. And that's my talking watch. Okay, y'all can laugh if you want. It's okay. But I keep my remote controls strapped together with hair ties because I just got so tired of losing them. I mean, they just get moved to other parts of the room or the kitchen or wherever, and I just get so tired of trying to find my remotes. This one's for the TV, and this one's for the audio, for the surround sound. And I just get so fed up with trying to keep up with them both, so I thought, well, heck with it. I'll just strap them together, and it works for me, so... If you have a hard time keeping up with remotes in your household, consider this. It might just work for you too, the way it has for me. It just makes my life a lot simpler having them both strapped together. And besides, why do they always make remotes black for the most part? Everything is black in technology. Makes it so much harder to see. Just a little side note there. Okay, so this is my very old fashioned stove came with my house and learning how to use it was a little confusing because I would confuse which one's front which one's back and it's actually the other way around this is front this is back and the buttons I was just having a hard time so figuring out what was off and medium high and all that jazz so anyway I got me some braille stickers me zoom in so I'm just using the first letter of each word in Braille to let me know what the buttons are like off warm low medium and then I have MH for medium high and high and that's how I use my stove basically so this is my washing machine and obviously I can't see the print it's so small so what I've done is you can get these little raised dots like from Amazon or Maxi Aids and I have put bump dots on the ones that I use the most like regular wash and then the um, up arrow no it's the down arrow and then naturally the up arrow is going to be the other one. And then I have one over here on start. So that's how I use my washing machine. So this is my dryer and it's the same kind of model as my washing machine. And I use the same thing. I use bump dots. I found some to show you. And these little things right here. Sorry they're a little dirty, dusty. But they have an adhesive backing on them and you just peel and stick it where you need a tactile indication on buttons, keys, etc. They're great. So anyway, I have them on my dryer on the buttons that I use the most. Normal, down with the up key next to it, and then start. And that's how I use my dryer. Hey guys, 
So those are just a few things that help me in my daily life to be able to get things done that I need to do. And this is Daisy May. She wanted to say hi and be in the shot. She is a snuggle bug. She likes to be held. So with that, I'm going to say bye and thanks for stopping by my home. Mm -hmm.